Welcome back, guys. We are happy once again to have our friend, Great Canadian Kyle, here from Great Canadian Games and Hobbies to play the game. Thanks for having me, folks. This is going to be fun. So what is the game? The game is the game. It's a uh, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Great explanating. Thanks. Explanating. Expl yeah. Great uh, speaking. <laughs> It's a cooperative game, so we're all playing together on the same team. And there are cards numbered 2 through 99 in this stack, and we have to play all of them in order to win. So I see there's two uh, numbers here. I see two ones and two 100s. Yep. So, so we have four piles that we can play on. Uh, there are two piles that start at 1 and go up, and two piles that start at 100 and go down. Now, from what I understand, when we have our hands of cards, we are not allowed to tell the other people which cards we have in our hand, but we can be... <laughs> We can be as vague, uh, like we can we can be we can say, don't play on this pile, for example, yeah, or something like that. Like, I need that one. Yeah. Don't play on that one. Absolutely, but we can't say I have number fifty. Right. So it's a cooperative game of table talk. Mm -hmm. It's everything I learned <laughs> from euchre in my French childhood, and uh, the person who runs out of the cards first wins, or we all win together. We all win together if we can play all of the cards. Okay. The catch is, is that on your turn you have to play at least two of your cards, but you can play more than that. And you if, can play, you can play your whole hand. You, if, if you think that playing your whole hand is the best thing, then yes, you can. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So what happens if you don't play two cards? Uh, you lose. Everyone loses? Everyone. Everyone no loses. Cooperative sure. game. We are all playing on the same team today. Oh, and wow. we're supposed to get rid of all the cards, but it's considered if we have less than 10 cards less at the end, that that's still a win? It's Is still that's, a pretty good game. It's still a pretty, pretty good, good game? game. Yep. Okay. And uh, guys, uh, for the purpose of this game, we are going to speed it up uh, just to fit it into the time frame, but you'll be able to catch it online. Uh, you can see it. Uh, we'll post it on Twitter, um, yeah. at Talk TV, And at Eastlink's YouTube channel, of course. Yes, and on our website, uh, TalkDirtyTV.ca. Yep. So right. Kyle, why don't we start the game sure. off? Just give her a quick chop and yeah. deal out six cards. All right. So what's uh, I know? So this is just a numbers game, but it's got some freaky artwork, as as you can see, some skeletal artwork. Is this kind of like a solitaire thought? You know, you beat the devil or something. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm sure that the devil would be uh, frustrated with this one too. Oh, no. Who gets to start now here? Um, I doubt so, Dave. Okay. What I like about this, this seems like a pretty simple game. Uh, we've done a lot of starter games, you know, for people to get into board yep. gaming. This seems to be along that theme uh, to get into some some, some uh, competitive or some co-op games, and I think this might be the great opportunity for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure, it's pretty simple too. Like, uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now we play, and uh, so unfortunately, I have. So is that why I would do twenty-eight? Yep. I wish I had lower. <laughs> uh, I wish you did too. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So, you and you got to play one other game, one other uh, card too. So, good news, that's my next one. Okay. And do, well. do, do I draw now? Yes. How many? Draw, draw back up to your uh, initial hand size. Six. So, you always have to have okay. six cards. so I could have played my entire hand if I wanted to. Uh, but if that's the way you're going to play, no. <laughs> <laughs> because I have eliminated the opportunity for you to play two through twenty-seven on this pile. Uh, you have eliminated the opportunity to play uh, two through forty-five on that pile. Yeah. So this, as a co-op game, I have stunted you. <laughs> now we can we can move backwards. Right? Yes. If we get if I were to get a card that said thirty-six, for if example, you have thirty. Six, it is exactly 10 lower, yeah. so you can play it. Same thing with the piles going down. If you get something that's exactly 10 higher, you can play it on those as well. Right. Oh, okay. So, for example, if I did uh, this, which is higher, yep. then I could go down to 42. That is awesome. Uh, which would bring give it, buy us a little bit more time, and then I can play a 10 here. Oh, perfect. Uh, and uh, finish my turn. So this is so the logic of this is uh, to go is the 10 differential. Yes. Okay. Has to be exactly 10. Uh, 10 differential, right. okay. All right, I might be screwing some things up here, but I'm gonna go 21 okay. and 22. All right. But I'm also gonna play 95. Ooh, 95, very nice. That's excellent. Now, how, how long does this game take to play traditionally? Uh, about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, kind of a pickup. I guess you play this game at camp as well, actually. Oh, it's a perfect one for it. Yeah, definitely, like a rainy day uh, game. Uh, I hate to be the guy, I'm gonna cut off some numbers here. So 95 to 85. Okay, well and that means that I can't play my 89. Oh wait, actually I'm going to, actually, so I can keep playing, right? Yes. 84, yep. 83. Oh, that's, that's a little bit better, yeah. That's, yeah. there you go. I'm, I'm bringing, I'm bringing right. some, some, some team to the game. For sure. And, and yeah. for our non-table talk, table talk, don't play on that pile. Don't play on this pile? Don't, pl don't play on that pile. Oh, well, I was, I was gonna though. I, I got a card for that. I got okay. a card for that, I got an app for that. All right, well I'll assume it's, I'm gonna assume it's better than mine. Um, and... I mean, everybody else has ruined the other pile, so I'm just going to ruin this one right now. <laughs> I, uh, why did you take this to a place of hate? <laughs> I, 
need to know. Like, this, and we're building the files, just, ruining the files. It came there naturally. What is this, my know. 16th birthday party? Ruined? <laughs> <laughs> Still bitter about that, uh, Sean. I <laughs> have one good play and then a bunch of not good plays. Oh, okay. I see why you uh, did Yeah, yeah. We gained a few numbers there. Yep. Uh, I think my, my not good play is going to have to be... Oh, can I say not to play on this pile? Yes, you can. Okay, then I would I would suggest not playing. I, I, I feel the rule of no table talk on numbers is is so loosely based. <laughs> it's almost offensive that it's observed <laughs> at this point. Especially since I can see all your cards. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm doing it so the folks at home can see all my of cards. Of course, that look makes at that. See yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. We got. We got. We're, we're testing our new cameras here, uh, so everyone enjoy that yeah. right there. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, what happens when uh, this pile, for instance, reaches uh, or the, the end of the line? Um, if you play 99 in that pile, uh, assuming that you don't have the 89, you can't play any more cards in that pile. So that would defeat us yes. in the game. Right. Uh, if, if this game is anything <laughs> like any of my high school math scores, numbers will defeat me. <laughs> and I look forward to it. Is it my turn by chance? I think it is, yes. Ah, excellent. Here I am. Yeah. Remember, don't on. play on this pile. Don't play on that pile. Or that pile. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay at a Riverdale. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Uh, I wish I had more guys. I honestly do uh, that I could, but I have to do 48, 47, 45, and 41. Okay, well, we can maybe we, 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 we can, we can work with it. Can we, can we make this happen? I hope so. So I'm going to go uh, three. Yes. And then five. Perfect. And then let's see if there's anything else that I can do here that makes sense. Uh, I could do... These ones are going down, so I can't play there. I could do a... Nope. Oh, right, we're not playing on that pile. There you, you go. You're not allowed. That's going to be my turn then. No, it's Kyle's. All right. It's only for people six feet and taller. Yeah, of course. Let's have an awesome turn here. 32 on 42, so it's right. exactly 10 lower, so I can play on that one. Yes. We'll go 35. Okay. Six. And 11. Whoa, powerful stuff. <laughs> Well, this, uh, I mean, talking about a game you can play at camp, also a conversational game, too, mm -hmm. uh, about this, this, this sort of setup. How much does this game go for, out of curiosity? Uh, we have it on sale for 22 dollars oh, yes. That's actually not a bad yeah. deal. Yeah. yeah, and you can get it, obviously, at Great Canadian Games and Hobby, or you can probably find it online. It's an IDW game. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of card games, they actually. Do. Yeah. They're, kind of, they're kind of rocking the, the card game genre. Okay, so I am... Is there any piles that I'm not allowed to play on, guys? This one. <laughs> I have no, no particular restrictions I, right I now. I feel like I need to ask permission to even take a turn. Does anyone else not claim to pile? Uh, unfortunately, Dave, yep. can't play that pile that is going up. Yeah, that one's going up. Oh, oh, geez. I am not great at this game. At well, all. as you said, hey, don't play on this pile, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't play on this. You can't play on this one or this one? That one. That one, and yeah. you can't play on this when one. When we say can't, it's because my other two co-players have decided to be jerks and called dibsies yes. on these card piles. That is true. Hey, sometimes dibs are the best. <laughs> All right, there so. chairs. This is the only seat in the world I can call dibs on because it's my set. <laughs> I'm going to play 25 there. Nice. Uh, then I'm going to play an 18 here. Let's see, what else can we We've got to get bring this one up a little bit here. If we can, a little closer to 100, but I don't have anything to do that. Um, I think I'm going to call it there for now until we get a little bit closer to what we're looking for. So, one, two. All right. Whoops. There you go. I got number 93 right there. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you went up, yeah? Yep. Because I have to play something else, there's 88. Oh, cool. I am going to play 20. Oh. Is, this, is anyone called dibs on this one yet? Oh, uh, no. no. I can call dibs on that one, though. Okay. Do you notice I'm the only one allowing the free form expression of numbers? <laughs> you guys are like those bunch of Greeks like 2,000 years ago that denied pi existed. You're so number phobic of letting anyone else play around. That's right. I like how I brought this back to the ancient Greeks. <laughs> Someone fact check that for me on the real world uh, so I know if that's even true. That's all from you today? That's all from me for now. Oh, goodness. I don't like where I have to go with this. But uh, no. well, this one, would you, this one, this no. one's fine. No, it's not. Uh, I, well, I, I don't really have too much else that I can do. Uh, you need to play two cards, Kyle. I know you need to play two cards. Fine. <laughs> I have a really good card for that, though. I'm very sorry. Because <laughs> it beat I, I, sequentially I, the one after? Yes. Yeah, it was probably, it was probably uh, a 97. Probably, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Or 96, I should say. 
or 98. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, what else? I gotta go somewhere, so. Let's work two wheels, oh. guys. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Hurts a little on the inside. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I feel the numbers coming down upon us here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, there's 37. All right. After that, <laughs> I don't have any good plays here, folks. A regular. How about a 43? Whew, this might be a short game. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be a short game. <laughs> be the shortest clip we've put on YouTube yet. Hey, Kyle, well, before this game beats us, why don't you tell us about what's going on uh, for International Tabletop Day? Uh, that is coming up on April 29th. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, 24 hours of uh, board games scheduled. That's amazing. So we're starting uh, Saturday at noon and going to Sunday at noon. That's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be there. Absolutely. And that's at your at the store, Great Canadian Games and Hobbies? That is true. And we also have uh, some giveaways, some uh, raffles, and uh, board games until you pass out. <laughs> Specifically <laughs> until I pass out. I plan to be there for the full 24 hours uh, in the greater Sudbury community to play some board games, the celebration of International Tabletop Day. Uh, and I plan to fall asleep exactly at 2 p.m. Uh, in the corner. As you do. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Sorry. Yeah, not 2 p.m. <laughs> that starts at 12. I wouldn't have made it very far. <laughs> well, I just came here for an afternoon nap. All right. Well, I am. You, you played some good cards there, but now uh, your last card kind of <laughs> ruined my my plans. Not that you know they're not yeah. my plans. They're our plans. But we can't talk about them, so it's hard. Steve, I understand that you are the evil one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we've said before uh, when yeah. I go, you know, it's gonna. Steve's the evil one, Kyle's the tall one, I'm the one with <laughs> really nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to play this and this. So Kyle, how many years has uh, International Tabletop Day been in effect? Uh-oh. Uh, oh, this is I'm... a board game question you don't know? <laughs> it might oh. be, oh wow. I think you need to bring up the, the sardines of shame. Uh, <laughs> This oh, is <laughs> this is our third year, I believe, uh, uh, that has been going on for four, if I remember right, four might be years. five. Started by Geek and Sundry. Yes. Yes, as a day to celebrate board, board games. games. Mm -hmm. And what a great entry point for someone to to try board games, right? Yeah. Just to get into the culture, because yeah. there is its own culture. And we're probably doing this segment. It's why we play these games. There's this sort of social group in every community about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and board games have been uh, like really resurgent as of late. Um, I think we're we're entering into like another golden age where everybody's everybody's playing board games, everybody's uh, having fun with it. It's not so much the you're you're playing video games online. It's uh, you miss that camaraderie of talking over the microphone with folks. So you yeah. want to sit down at the kitchen table. Do you think that the emergence of uh, cooperative games like this has been responsible for that surge? Um, that is probably part of it. Another part is just you want to sit down around the table and, and have a few beers with uh, with uh, the friends and and board games are a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. That's a really good. That's actually a very good point. I just know that when online gaming started in itself, you know, you was able to connect with people all over the world through mm -hmm. you know chats and, and headsets and whatnot. So being able to play a game together at a table to beat the rules it was, was was a phenomenal idea. Yep. And we saw that. I mean, I think the oldest example that I know of is Arkham Horror. <laughs> <laughs> Oldest because it takes six years to play a full game. <laughs> you can play. Oh, it. hey, uh, don't play on this deck, guys. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's game, everybody. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well if you have to, I have, have that one. Uh, I'm. Uh, uh oh. Um. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. If you have to play here, play here. But, what's, you know. what's, what's the game's rule on cheating? Uh, <laughs> it is discouraged. But not we're just highly do, discouraged. We're just going to do a fade to white here, and when you come uh, back, the cards are going to be different. Uh, no oh, question. Who knows who? All right. Uh, I have a really bad thing that I have to do here, folks. I'm going to cut off a. Uh, I'm going to cut off uh, a deck. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. So now, unless we have a one or a twenty-two, we can't play there. There uh, is no one, but you do need the twelve. Yeah, the twelve yeah. to play yeah, there to pull it so back. So we could we could get a twelve eventually because I don't yep. think it's come up yet. But uh, well, Kyle, uh, thanks for on. thanks for <laughs> thanks for coming to our board game. Uh, <laughs> never come back. <laughs> uh, been a pleasure. This pile's going up, right? Yep. Okay. And oh man, we're, this is hurting, guys. Right. Yeah. This is hurting. Yeah, it's hurting. I am sorry to cut you all off. Like that. Oh, no. I wish you hadn't done that. Don't hate the player. Hate literally the game. I, I hate <laughs> I'm starting to. Uh, these ones are going down over here still. Uh, well, I don't want to do that. Man, our options right? are really getting uh, a little... 
tenuous. <laughs> nice. Remember, it's just discouraged, not completely disallowed. <laughs> if it was only just tenuous. <laughs> All right, I will have to do this mm -hmm. and this. Okay. And I think that's as far as I can take it. That's still okay. Yeah. Still okay. We're going to judge. I can, I, I, I can come to rescue here. Okay. Nice. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. uh, giving us a little bit of traction here. Can we do one better? Uh, no. <laughs> no, we can't. No, we cannot. Uh, unless, nope, unless you want me to bring that to race to 96. I love the advertising, the slogan for this game. It's called the game, and the, the tagline is, are you ready to play? It is, it is the most <laughs> basic example of what a game is. Game? You want to play? All right, that's just, there's numbers. Yep. <laughs> now, if you had told me that this, uh, that we were going to be playing, well, you did tell me, but, you know, <laughs> when I first heard that we were going to be playing a game that's basically just about adding and subtracting numbers. I was not enthused, but this is actually really challenging. It, uh, and and there, there's a lot of pressure that's involved too, because... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like you this. don't want to do that. What? <laughs> a 30 point that. jump? I'm sorry. <laughs> you invalidated all my cards. <laughs> no. Guys, I'm sorry. Don't bring Dave to a co-op game. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm like the bard in a dungeon. You don't really need me. <laughs> No, Just keep kidding. an eye on the bar. That's oh good. man, that's I don't good. know. I don't know if I can Guys, play now. I, I really, I, I got I bad. Hope you can. I got bad news. Oh, this is going down, right? Yeah. I probably should have done this one first, then. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad move on my part. I feel I should have been counseled. You let me make a decision on my own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. It's gonna be better than. <laughs> Don't worry, I... I, I gotta I, <laughs> choose between the lesser of two evils. Yeah. Is it there, wrong? There, there's gonna be some big evils coming up. Is it wrong of me that the hardest part of the game for me... Uh, not, I want to, not the hardest part, oh, but no. one of the most challenging is keeping my hand in order? That is... Uh, that probably speaks um, to my skill. I, I think I have a problem here, folks. Oh no, you can't play? Is it the height no, thing? No, I can play. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know, that was, really? that was harsh. That was yeah. harsh. I'm, I'm very short, I feel bad. Uh, Okay, I that's not be, so bad. Yeah, but this is going to be the really bad part. Oh. Right. Oh no. I used to like Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't. Yeah, we might be coming to the end game here. Well, guys, we're, we're actually pretty close to 10 cards down here. If we could oh. just, well, I mean, besides the ones <laughs> in our hand. Plus, plus the 18 that we have sitting in our hands. Yeah. So you'd be great at poker. <laughs> 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 pretty close to winning, except for all that not winning. Okay, I'm going to play 92 here. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna. Uh oh. <laughs> a nine over here. Okay, okay. That's it. You guys make magic happen. Okay. So I, I will go for an eight. <sighs> eight there, that's not bad. Uh, and here I can do a 94. Um. I think that's going to be. I think I should. I should probably stop it there. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, now we have a big problem. There's 98. Okay. That's my one play. Oh, oh no! That's all we got. No. That's all we got. What is that 90? What is like like from my angle? That looks like a, <laughs> that looks like a 99. Unfortunately, <laughs> no, I, I have the 99. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. 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 So. We lost. That's that's spectacularly. We lost the game. Yep. I want you guys to feel like how I feel every time we <laughs> play a game on this show. Like breathe that in, experience that loss, because that's what I feel right now. Yep. Now here's the thing. I mean, uh, we we did lose the game, uh, like I predicted at the beginning of the intro. If you, if you <laughs> Not that crazy. <crazy-y. laughs> Um, but I still feel that uh, you know we put in a pretty good effort. How many cards are we left with besides the ones at hand here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then all of these. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, it's pretty good for a first try. <laughs> <laughs> a little demoralizing, but yeah. I think, you know, it's pretty good when we have a handicap. You know? <laughs> well, you know, when, when, when somebody's cutting off half the pile on turn I, one. Guys, what? I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> this is the first time I've learned to count and read. It's very sad. Kyle, thanks for never coming on the show again. <laughs> no, Kyle, honestly, it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing this game with us. This is and, a very fun game. And we're very excited to go to Great Canadian Games and Hobbies to do some uh, International Tabletop Day. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And after the show, after the break, we're going to be looking at comic books. Uh, Faith, picked by Steve. Talk nerdy. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you don't miss out on any of our content by clicking subscribe here.